Hello there. Make sure my camera's clean. It's reasonably clean. It is re <coughs> reasonably clean. Oh, this is uh, almost a total redo. Almost a total redo. I want to thank you guys for joining, and I apologize for any lack of goodness to my video today. But real quickly, I uh, woke up about two hours ago. I'm out in Roscoe, Illinois. I woke up about two hours ago, about 6.30. I, I've been doing a live show here uh, called Coffee with Ken for about five years. And about a, a week back, I decided I was going to alternate between hopping on live on Instagram and hopping on live on TikTok just to see how it goes. And Instagram's a fun, friendly, warm, fuzzy site that seems to grow pretty quickly for me, and I have a good number of followers on. Thank you, Captain McNeil and Jack Taylor. Uh, but anyway, I decided to alternate between TikTok and Instagram over the last uh, week and a half or so. And today was a TikTok day, and at 6.30 or so, I went live, had a nice talk, talked about struggles I've felt and issues I've dealt with and challenges and feeling sick and having a sore ankle and feeling afraid to go back to the western suburbs of Chicago and bottom line I thought I had a pretty good show I had a pretty good show and I always download these shows and share them on various social media platforms and I've had a lot of struggles with TikTok to be honest with you and I feel if you say the wrong thing, if you talk about gambling or casinos, TikTok hears you and listens to you and might change your audience and say, hey, this is conversation isn't appropriate for young people. Uh, and shut your audience down to certain people. Or if you talk, if there's just people watching and listening a little closer than I want to every word I say on TikTok. And I'll tell you what, it bothers me. It bothers me. And I've had videos cut off in the middle of conversation because I'll be talking about stuff that they don't approve of. And so I'm never sure exactly what I get to say or what I can say or I can't I don't feel I have a a free voice cuz I feel I'm in the back of my mind I'm going, "Ooh, can I say another social media platform or will TikTok get mad at me?" And uh, shut off my video midstream. And as a would-be content creator or a content creator, I want to be able to kind of talk about what I want to talk about. You know, I don't swear. I don't say anything inappropriate, or at least I try not to. But there's been issues there before. And this morning, uh, I did a good show, and I talked for 45 minutes or so, and I talked about you know, fear and anxiety and worry and about a lot of important things to me. Uh, and I went to download the video and it said, sorry, due to a technical error, this video isn't available to download. And you know, <laughs> I don't know what the technical error was. I don't know why that video wasn't available to be, uh, uh, downloaded, but it's not the first time it's happened. And when it happens, it's so disappointing. And I hate to call this art, but this is what I do. And this is what I want to do. And I want to go live in front of an audience and talk about issues and talk about life and talk about ups and downs and challenges and mental health and sobriety. And sometimes I say some good stuff. <laughs> so when I say some good stuff and for some reason due to a technical error, I'm not able to download that. It'd be like, you know, painting a cool picture for somebody and finishing the painting and going, hey, that's awesome, or writing a great book and suddenly having all that stuff erased. And I'm not trying to say, I'm. this is the Mona Lisa here at all. Hello, Wanda. 
but I do want some reliability on a platform that I'm trying to grow on. And I certainly don't feel that on TikTok. I don't. I've had a bunch of issues. I've had them stop my live saying, hey, you can't say that. You can't say this. And too often it'll say due to a technical error, we weren't able to process your live video. And it kind of bummed me out. And I was sitting there on the table. Not on, I wasn't sitting on the table. Uh, thank you. I was uh, sitting there at the table going, huh. That bums me out. I thought that was a pretty good live show. I talked for 45 minutes. I won't be able to post this content on YouTube or uh, any other social media platform. And it was kind of just gone. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it kind of bummed me out. So I sat there and go, huh. Wonder what I'd say if I had to do it all over again. <laughs> and you know what? This is... This is what I have to say if I were to do it all over again. This is what I would have to say if I were to do it all over again. So good morning, good morning, uh, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and uh, this is Coffee with Ken. It is, what day is it? It is Friday morning. It is August 2nd, and... Can, Donna's saying, can I record while I'm talking so I always have the video? Or I can just not use that platform. <laughs> I don't have that problem here. I, I don't have the problem here. And I'm able to talk, and they don't have processing errors or technical difficulties or cut into my live videos or say, hey, you mentioned marijuana. We don't want to talk about marijuana to this demographic audience and if I talk about marijuana or drinking or gambling or vices or mental health I'm talking about personal experiences and why I don't do it anymore and there are important topics to be able to talk about and I don't want some power that be at TikTok making the decision who I get to talk to and what I get to say and I don't I don't and they said due to a processing error, and I don't want to be negative, I don't want to bum you guys out, they weren't able to download, my download won't be available. I don't know why they were processing it. What does that mean, to process my content? I don't know. When I finish a live video here on Instagram, uh, it's there, it's done, it's uploaded. But for some reason, I got to push a button and then the powers that be scan the words and count how many times I say YouTube or marijuana or alcohol. And they determine whether it's suitable content to be processed. And it irks me. It irks me. It irks me. That live was cinema. I hope you got it back. I won't, RJ. I won't. It didn't say it's temporarily unavailable. It says it's not available for download due to a technical error. And that irks me. I think there's something inherently wrong with that platform and has been for two and a half years. I feel loyalty. I like a lot of the names over there. I like some of the people there. I like that it grow, grew for a while. I like that they monetized it a little bit. But RJ, you're watching. Have we ever had a long conversation about the problems I have on Instagram? No, because I don't have any problems on Instagram. But on TikTok, how many times have I talked to you about the issue on TikTok? It's ridiculous. So anyway, it's sorry about all that spewing of negativity. Uh, we enjoyed watching you over there, but this is terrific. Well, thank you, Jack Taylor. I feel I get to talk. I feel I get to talk. I'm not kidding. When I'm on TikTok and I'm saying I'm trying to tell the content creator's experience about sharing videos over to YouTube, I'm thinking somebody at TikTok's mad that I say the word YouTube. Uh, yeah. Or if I say casino, I was talking about gambling the other day and how there's too many casinos in Montana. 
and how it's not good for things. And I got a little warning saying, hey, this is inappropriate content for people of a certain age, so we're going to stop. I don't know. I feel I should be able to discuss with a 15-year-old that too many casinos is a, not a good thing. But the powers that be at TikTok determined it was inappropriate for people under 18. I wasn't soliciting gambling. If anything, I was soliciting not gambling. So I can't get my message, whatever my message is, out to youthful people via TikTok because they won't show it to people of youth. Even if I'm talking about the dangers of drugs and alcohol or the dangers of addiction, and those are the people that need to be hearing this message. I mean, sure, we all do. Uh, we all do. Uh, but I, it's just, it's, it's uncomfortable having, and again, I hate that this is negative, but maybe somebody needs to hear this. It's uncomfortable having somebody listening to every word you're saying and determining if it's okay or not. Roger Leone's saying uh, somebody has multiple cameras on his. I don't have multiple cameras. I don't want to get seven different phones to try and broadcast to TikTok. So even if they edit me, you know, maybe I'm pouting. Maybe I hit my ball and I want to play by my rules and go home. And maybe it's their ball. But I don't have to play on their court. You know? I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. But anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Friday morning. It is August 2nd. It is... Oh, even there, my clock's on there. 8.08 a.m. Happy Friday. It's a show I've been doing for quite some time. It's a show about me talking. It's a show about me sharing some experiences, sharing some ups and downs, sharing a little bit about life and the frustrations. People say, hey, I'm always so positive. They like my energy, my positivity. Well, I've just spent 10 minutes bitching about TikTok. I just spent, and I'm still annoyed. I'm still annoyed. I don't think I've gotten it off my chest enough. So maybe we'll retouch that. But for those that have been watching, well, you know, it's not just a show about me bitching about TikTok. You know, it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that, hey, Maverick, yeah, no, stop talking about them. Maverick's talking about these hate groups that hate me on TikTok and say a bunch of mean things about them. Stop talking about them. Stop looking at them. Stop giving them any attention. You know, so stop saying that. I know. I know they're there. Uh, yeah, no, Kelly, it seems to be. It seems to be. It seems to be. It seems to be. Yeah. I don't know. I'll get people hopping on and talking about, you know, going to the bathroom or something or saying weird things over there or about how they can't go to the bathroom or how they have diarrhea over there. It's like it's a bunch of children uh, set loose. And for some reason, I'm struggling as a guy doing my uh, uh, what I hope is important content. Uh, they're limiting my, my ability to talk. Yet they're letting hateful people create fake accounts and people talk about pooping. <laughs> You know, just childish stuff, embarrassing stuff. The people should be embarrassed for posting it, but they don't. But anyway, again, it's a show about me uh, 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 sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I have a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me. And I am so excited uh, to have my first sip, even though it's not my first sip. I've already had like two or three cups, but let's just pretend that it's my first sip this morning. So my hope is, where, and you'll be happy to know, for my TikTok show, I couldn't, I didn't, wasn't able to find this. It was on the counter at my sister's house. I'm happy to have it, and I'm excited to have my first sip. My hope is wherever you are, uh, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh 
yeah. <laughs> and it is hot. It is hot. Let's have another. Mm. John is asking if I'm back in Naperville. I'm not yet. I'm going to be headed back there today. Uh, I got, I arrove in Roscoe, Illinois. My sister uh, was having a little bit of a family reunion in Roscoe, Illinois, uh, where she lives with my dad and her kids uh, this week. And my kids all came, and my little ones came, and my ex-wife came, and uh, we had a bunch of cousins running around and had a great time on Wednesday, and the kids, I think, all had fun. And uh, today is the day I'm... I just washed my load of laundry. I'm going to pack up my bag and head back to the western suburbs of Chicago. And I woke up a little frightened today in a kind of a little negative place today, thinking about all the unknown things and challenges and finding housing and finding jobs and finding this and finding that. And I uh, struggled with my morning this morning a little bit. Uh, struggled with it, struggled to get out of bed with the same enthusiasm and same excitement and same anticipation that I normally do. And, uh, but I managed. And some days you're not going to be the little ball of energy or the little train that could. And some days <coughs> you're going to struggle. And some days you're going to have anxiety and some fear and some worry and some trepidation. Uh, but you can still make it through and not every day is going to be your best and not every moment is going to be your best, but you can still do your best and try your best and give it a good effort and get out of bed and make your bed and move forward and make your coffee and do your coffee show. And even if a certain other platform ban or doesn't process it correctly, you still have options. You get knocked down in life. You crash. I crashed my bike five days ago, and I still got scrapes on my knees. I don't know if you can see it. I still got a swollen ankle. But you're going to get beat down in life from time to time. But you got to get pull yourself back up and get yourself back up and make it through the day and smile as much as you can and have a good attitude and work hard as much as you can even when it seems the tides of life are working against you and when you lay when I lay my head down on the pillow tonight I should look back on this day with a special pride uh not because I had a little bit of a negative attitude or a more negative attitude than some days but because I had fear and a negative attitude, but I made it through and did well and accomplished what I needed to just the same. And that I didn't feel my best, but I did the best I could anyway. And, uh, uh, cause yeah, I think people watch me and I'm always smiling and always laughing, but I'm also talking about stuff. I'm talking about struggles but I do it with a smile and laugh. And sometimes I don't feel so laughy and smiley. And again, when I woke up this morning, I was laying there going, oh, I got to do a bunch of stuff. I got to pack my scooter. Where am I staying tonight? I'm not totally sure. <coughs> I still have a cold. Oh, no. My ankle still hurts. Oh, no. Am I going to walk into these restaurants limping and saying, hey, hire me? I'd be a great waiter. I'm going to work hard. To, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to hustle. And they're going to look at me limping and going, hey, I don't know if I want to hire a guy that can't walk. Uh, but uh, as I said earlier, when you're feeling overwhelmed and you feel like the day is going to be more than you can manage or that life's more than you can manage, and I know some people that have felt that life is more than they can manage, uh, I think the best strategy is to break it up into little nuggets and not think too far ahead. And as I was laying in bed this morning, I was trying to think of things I was grateful for, and I thought of like two Usually I can think of five, and when I think of five, I start thinking about a million of them. But I said, okay, well, that's two. That'll have to do. And then I stood up, 
And I said, okay, now I got to make my bed. And I tried to make my bed and it didn't make very well. And the sheets and comforter didn't fluff up and lay back down the way I like them to. And the sheets were all crumpled up and I did it again and I was kind of in a grumbling mood. Then I walked upstairs and I stubbed my toe and I hurt my ankle and I go, ah, my ankle hurts. <laughs> but I kept walking. I made it up to the top of the stairs. Then I couldn't find my tumbler. And I said, dang it, I really like that tumbler. Let's have another sip of coffee real quickly. I really like drinking my coffee out of the tumbler because it stays hot. Crap, what am I going to do? Well, I'm at my sister's house. I gave her a few coffee with Ken Mug, so I'll do my show with coffee with Ken Mug. And uh, came out, took my first sip, and again, I was on another social media platform. And uh, the coffee wasn't quite as hot as I liked, but I had a great show and felt really good and felt really proud and managed to talk for 40 some minutes. And I was excited to post it on various social media platforms. And I was thinking, oh boy, when I go back and edit this video, there's gonna be a lot of good, you know, reels and shorts and TikToks to post. And I get inside, I start making some coffee. I find my tumblers, which puts a big smile on my face. And then I'm trying to download the video on that other social media platform. Processing, processing, processing. Oh, I'm sorry. Due to a technical issue, we weren't able to process your video. It's unavailable. I tell you what, that bummed me out. And I could have sulked about it, and I could have... <laughs> and I probably will sulk a little bit more about it. I still am. This is me sulking. But uh, I felt the best way to handle it uh, was look one step ahead and uh, realize that, you know, we had more coffee in the cupboard. And that if I brewed up another pot and filled up my tumbler and went outside and went out on the safe haven that is Instagram and the friendly community that is Instagram and the reliable community that is Instagram and uh, went live and talked for a little bit, I think that would be the best way to go about my morning. And I've done that now. And I've been knocked down. <laughs> and I've gotten up and I've said my gratitude or thought of things I was grateful for. And maybe it wasn't the five. Maybe I only thought of a couple. But I can think of a few more right now. Okay, I just thought of three more things that I'm grateful for. So I filled out my five. It wasn't done as I was getting out of bed. But that's okay. That's okay. I think it's important we cut ourselves some slack. And we don't have to be perfect because we're not going to be perfect and life's not going to be perfect and we're going to get knocked down and we're going to dump our scooter and hurt our ankle and we're going to have a flat tire and we're going to have not be able to find our coffee tumbler and we're going to have days we don't want to bounce out of bed. But we keep putting one foot in front of the other and... Uh, uh, keep moving forward and keep doing our best and keep trying hard and keep being proud of ourselves and keep forgiving ourselves. And at the end of the day, when we rest our head on the pillow, look back on the day, not as, well, I had a bad attitude that day. Look back at it as, well, I had a, started the day with a negative attitude, but I fought through some imperfections that life deals us. And I was able to turn the day around, have a kick-ass day, move forward, accomplish the things I wanted, do my live show, post it on the social media platforms I wanted, get my laundry done, pack up my bags, load up my scooter, ride back to the western suburbs, find a nice clean place to uh, call home for the next two or three nights, uh, pick up my white dress shirts, pick up my computer, Get back in, get a good night's sleep, go at the day again tomorrow uh, with determination and energy and vigor and optimism and hope and faith uh, that are so important.
to get you through the hard days, uh, especially. And I'm proud of myself for hopping on live today. And I'm proud of you guys for getting through whatever you've gotten through. Because I guarantee each of and every one of you listening has dealt with something today. And maybe you barely noticed it. If it was a good day, you barely noticed it. And it was like a little fly just falling or a crumb falling off your shoulder or what have you. Uh, But some days those little things can really knock you down and bum you out and throw off your groove and mess up your whole mojo for the day if you let them. But again, if you keep kind of tearing it up into little bits and pieces and pouring your coffee and brushing your teeth and making your bed and thinking things you're grateful for and hugging your loved ones and moving forward, uh, the day has a way of working out and... uh, Life is a way of working out. And I'm excited about my day. And I'm excited about my Friday. And I want to thank you so much for hopping on today and being a part of my little show that is Coffee with Ken and following along uh, on my journey that is life and my lessons that I've learned and sharing some coffee with me on a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday or a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Mm. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.